Welcome to day 61 of our 100 Days of Essential Oils event. My name is Sunny Busby from And Love It Too, and I so appreciate you being here with us today. I'm excited to introduce you to one of my favorite essential oils, oregano essential oil. And this is one of the most potent and powerful essential oils and has been used for centuries in traditional practices. The primary chemical component of oregano is carvacol a phenol that possesses antioxidant properties when ingested. Now, due to its high phenol content, caution should be taken when inhaling or diffusing oregano. Only one to two drops at a time is needed. Additionally, oregano should always be diluted with the carrier oil when applied to the skin. Now, you know my theory on that. Always, always, always dilute. Standard dilution would be one to two drops of oregano essential oil to one teaspoon of carrier oil. That could be a coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, olive oil, any vegetable oil, good quality non-GMO vegetable oil before applying it to the skin. Oregano will literally create a heat reaction when applied to the skin, so just make sure that you dilute heavily. Again, one to two drops per teaspoon of carrier oil for anyone who's six and up, one to two drops per tablespoon of carrier oil for anyone who's under the age of six. And use caution when applying to anyone who's under the age of two. Feel free to ask me directly either in the comments below or reach out to me on Facebook about alternative options for oregano for your little ones if needed. Now one drop taken internally every day can help to maintain healthy immune function. Oregano can be taken more frequently as needed to further support the immune system, especially in times of severe concern. However, I do recommend that you limit your daily uses of oregano to just 10 days at a time and then replenish for another 10 days with probiotics. Oregano is very beneficial for the system, but it may have an impact on the good balance in our gut as well as the negative. So it's important that we replenish as often as possible in that regard, especially after long-term use. In addition to being a popular cooking spice, oregano also supports healthy digestion and respiratory function when taken internally. Oregano's aroma acts as an enhancer and an equalizer in essential oil blends. Emotionally, oregano is known as the oil of humility and non-attachment. It cuts through the fluff and teaches individuals to do the same. Oregano addresses a person's need to be right and encourages a willingness to learn, to help individuals to be teachable and more willing to budge. On the deepest level, oregano dispels materialism and attachment that hinders growth and progress. Just like when we use oregano to help support immune function and eliminate toxicity, Emotionally, oregano can help to encourage an end to a toxic relationship, quit an impressive job, or end a destructive habit. This is a powerful oil that benefits many people in many ways. We use oregano on a regular basis in our home, like mentioned, especially when times of immune concern are pretty high. And we love this essential oil in anything from our chicken soup as a flavor additive, but also as a physical benefit. And we do love to diffuse this along with some strong citrus oils like tangerine, bergamot's a great one to blend with it things to kind of balance out the herbaceous scent of oregano. It does smell like pizza. The first time I used oregano topically, I applied it heavily diluted to my feet to help support immune function. And I went to church and taught a group of six-year-olds that day. And immediately when I walked in the class, one of the girls sat up and said, what smells like pizza? So just keep in mind when you use oregano topically, if you're smelling pizza, that might be the reason why. Otherwise, oregano is a wonderful essential oil and really one of the top 10 that we recommend everybody keep on hands at all times. See you tomorrow on the next 100 Days of Essential Oils event video.